felt on top of the world. I felt normal. I was like, yes, the nausea is gone. Hey everyone, so I'm back with another video. Already you guys know from the title, I am going to be doing a bump update or baby update. If you haven't seen the I am pregnant video, you should definitely watch that one first because I pretty much share with you guys how I found out I was pregnant, what signs, what symptoms I had, and I had them pretty early on. So a lot of people don't realize they're pregnant till you know, much later sometimes, but I found out or I realized pretty early on. But anyway, so this is going to be a four to 12 week update on symptoms, how I've been feeling, things I've been doing, things I can't do, and stuff like that. So if you guys don't know, this is my first baby. We don't know the gender yet because it's still very early. I believe this is now what they call second trimester, which I'm going to talk about in next week's video. So you guys will see new videos every single week on pregnancy. So I think this channel may kind of slowly turn into like a mommy channel, um, but I still, of course, will include my beauty and my fashion videos. So let's jump right into the video. So I have everything written down on my phone because pregnancy brain is real. I am so forgetful, like super forgetful. Um, for example, I was supposed to hang out with a friend like three weeks in a row and I forgot every single week, which was so bad. To the point that I had to write it down on paper, write it down in my phone, and set a reminder. It was so bad. And my memory is usually like A1. For me to be forgetting to meet up with a friend is pretty bad for me. So I won't touch on too much on the early signs um, because I covered it in my I am pregnant video. But um, I want to just kind of let you guys know what my pre-weight was and what I am now and stuff like that. So before I found I was pregnant, I was 154 pounds and I was in St. Vincent for a funeral and when I got to St. Vincent before I knew I was pregnant I had already said to myself that I am going to lose some weight because I am not happy with how my body looks I don't like that I have a little bit of a pudge um, and stuff like that um, speaking of pudge uh, I will do a little bit of a baby bump for you guys it's not so much a bump but um, I'll still share it with you guys at the end of the video. But like I said, I was 154 before I went to St. Vincent. While I was there, I was 154. When I came back home to Toronto, because of my diet in St. Vincent, I had stopped eating rice. I was eating smaller portions. Um, I tried to stay away from caffeine, chocolate, and all that stuff. And I was drinking mostly water. So um, when I got back to Toronto, I was 150. So I lost four pounds when I was in St. Vincent. Of course, with being pregnant, sometimes it leads to nausea and vomiting and diarrhea and all that stuff. I did lose a little bit of weight. Early on, the signs that I had by like four weeks, I had tender boobs or sore boobs. Um, I did have some cramping, but no blood. I did experience some diarrhea early on. Um, I did experience joint pain, so basically in like the hip pelvis area, which I've never ever ever experienced before, so I did experience that very early on. So I want to say from four weeks to six weeks, or four weeks to seven weeks, when I was in St. Vincent, um, I was sleeping a lot. I was a lot more tired. I don't know if it had to do with the pregnancy, I don't know if it had to do with the heat, I don't know if it had to do with not being able to sleep at night because it was so hot and you know stuff like that so but early on I was sleeping a lot more I was taking naps throughout the day about two two naps a day every single day for like a good two three weeks so now when we get to seven weeks pregnant I was peeing a lot more so I want to say peeing was very on point so I know for a fact I was peeing at 3 a.m then 6 a.m., then 9 a.m., then 12 a.m., and then I lost track after that. I kind of just stopped looking at the time, but it was like three hours apart on the dot, on the dot, on the dot for like a good maybe two weeks. Like it was like crazy. I was literally waking up at the same time or using the bathroom at the same time every single day. It was, it was crazy. So frequent peeing definitely started around seven weeks. Um, and then this is where gagging started. Started feeling a little nauseous, not too crazy. Um, in the morning time and it kind of would linger throughout the day it would go away come back go away come back um, when I was in St. Vincent my friend had told me to um, try ginger candy so I went out and I got some ginger candy and that honestly really worked as soon as the ginger hit my tongue it was gone the nausea was gone 
So shout out to Ashley for recommending that. That actually really worked for me. Like I said, week seven was more so gagging, not actually throwing up, but you know, the feeling of wanting to throw up, which sucks. I would rather just throw up. Like, why am I doing this? Can I just throw up? So no throwing up in week seven, just gagging. It was, it was really awful. And I think from early on, it was really hard for me to, even up to now, really hard for me to brush my tongue. Like, you know, you brush your teeth and you brush your tongue. It was really hard to, for me to brush my tongue. Like, you know, you stick out your tongue and you try to brush it and I was just gagging. Like, oh my gosh, I could not put the, the toothbrush on my tongue. I would have to do it very quickly or I would, you know, throw up. So I'd have to do it very quickly, which really sucked because I, you know, I really enjoy brushing my teeth. Anyways, it really sucked that I could not do things the way I normally would. I'd have to speed up the process in order to get it, in order to get it done. So now by week eight, um, I was throwing up every day for four days straight. For me, my morning sickness was pretty much only in the daytime. I want to say early on, it kind of, sometimes it would linger past 12 o'clock. And then if I ate, it would go away. And then, oh, car rides, car ride, car rides early on would make me feel very nauseous. And I really could not handle them. Um, I would try and just look out the window instead of having my head down or looking down. I would you know, not use my phone, I would just look out the window, focus on breathing, and I would always have ginger candy in my purse. So I'd always like bite off piece, let it sit on my tongue and just hold it there until the car ride was done. So ginger candy really, really worked for me early on. Um, it stopped working a little bit later on, which I'll let you guys know in a bit. Um, also at eight weeks, I was experiencing breakouts on my cheeks. Um, they would only last a day though, which was great. They would only last a day and then they would just be gone the following day, which was awesome. Back to week eight, I feel like I started kind of showing, but I was very bloated throughout the whole thing. Um, up till maybe, I think it started around week six to week eight, I was super bloated. Oh my gosh, super bloated, super gassy. Um, I was using the bathroom for number two, um, maybe twice a day or so. That eventually changed, but that's pretty much what I was experiencing um, week six to week eight. Very, 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 very bloated to the point that it hurt. It really, really hurt. Um, also, before I forget, I could not wear, I want to say from week eight, I could not wear anything that was high-waisted. I couldn't wear any bras because bras would hurt, not really hurt, but it was very uncomfortable for me. Anything that was touching my stomach made me feel sick. So I had to stop wearing bras. I had to stop wearing shorts. I had to stop wearing dresses that had elastic around the waist. It really made me feel sick to the stomach. So I had to stop wearing all of that, which meant that I looked very sloppy half the time because I can only wear loose fitting clothes. Um, even though I wasn't really showing, I could only wear loose fitting stuff. And it really bothered me because I couldn't wear anything that made me feel Kind of pretty so it sucked it really did so now week nine i had one amazing day i thought my nausea was gone boy was i wrong so i had one super amazing day i felt on top of the world i felt normal i was like yes the nausea is gone nope it came back the next day so um yeah vomiting con continued um after that no day of nausea um which really sucked but okay um i think now week 10 so now we're on to week 10 nausea is still there um i don't think i was throwing up week 10 there was no throwing up i had just nausea just feeling nauseous so around this point i was waking up probably like 3 a.m 2 a.m 2 a.m in the morning feeling very sick and i didn't know how to stop it so i was just trying to um sleep it off not realizing that maybe I'm just hungry. I eventually realized that around week 11, that maybe it's hunger. And the type of hunger that I was experiencing is on a different level. It's not like, oh, you know, I feel hungry, let me just have a little snack. No, it was like extreme hunger. And it was hunger that was coming from like a different part of my body. Like, you know, you feel hunger down in your, you know, your stomach, but I was feeling it somewhere else. That's why getting something to eat didn't come to my mind. I just thought, oh, I just need to sleep. So eventually by week, I want to stay 11, I realized, you know what? Let me go and eat. 
So I would get up at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., 4 a.m., and have a little snack. So like I would get some crackers, or I would make a peanut butter sandwich, or I would make some cereal, you know, something light like that. Nothing that was too sweet or considered to be like junk. I would try not to grab like candy or something around week 11. And week 11, of course, I was still experiencing nausea. I want to say by week 11 as well, I wasn't peeing as much, which I thought was a little bit weird. My peeing had kind of not back to normal, still, still peeing a lot, just not that three every three hour thing. It had kind of slowed down a little bit, but I was still peeing a lot. Now week 12, which was just last week, um, nausea seemed to be fading and but i was still gagging in the morning and we also had our first ultrasound i'm going to share our first ultrasound photo with you guys we actually vlogged that day which probably should be on the vlog channel if you guys want to check it out we didn't like our first experience unfortunately so we did talk about it if you guys want to hear all about that the throwing up had pretty much disappeared um but i was gagging a lot gagging all throughout the day um, not so much feeling nauseous, but like coughing so much that I felt like I was going to throw up, but then nothing was coming out. Really annoying. For me personally, I would prefer to just throw up instead of just coughing and gagging. <sighs> but yeah, that is week 12. Um, we had our first ultrasound. We got a little photo of the baby and... I want to say that everyone that I showed the picture, they were all like, wow, your photo was so clear. How's your baby so perfect already? Um, I don't know, I guess the, the ultrasound tech lady did a really good job with snapping the photo. She did a really good job with getting a really good shot. You can really see the lips, um, you can see the little feet, you can see the head perfectly. Um, and I know some of you guys are probably wondering about the gender. We have no idea what the gender is. Like I said, I'm only 13 weeks. I know some people actually can find it out very early on, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait. So I'm going to try my best to get it done early, hopefully. If not, I'll just wait till 20. Some of you guys are probably wondering what do we want. Um, as most people say, you know, whatever they get is perfect. Um, but we do want a little girl. Um, which I was a little bit surprised that my fiance wants a little girl because most guys, I want to say that most guys want a boy, I want a son, but he actually wants a little girl, which is, I thought was kind of funny. But yeah, my mom said girl, my brother, he's saying boy. He never actually said he wants a boy, but he keeps saying he, he, he. So he definitely is wanting a little boy or wants us to have a little boy. Um, cousins. And everyone else is saying girl because we have so many boys right now. But yeah, that's pretty much it. My friends are saying girl as well. Um, everyone, I want to say most part, everyone's team girl except for my brother. Whatever we get blessed with is perfectly fine. But everyone kind of has their little um, preference, I guess. Or not preference. Um, everyone everyone kind of says, you know, I would like this or I would like that or it doesn't matter. So... Yeah. So one really important thing I forgot to mention, I don't know how I forgot to mention this, but I was experiencing a shortness of breath fairly early on. And I want to say about eight weeks, I was experiencing shortness of breath. So if you guys follow the vlog channel, you guys know that I normally about maybe twice a week, I go over to my house and I water the plants, I water the grass, I water the veggies and stuff. And I couldn't even do that without having to just you know stand and just breathe because I would like even now t even talking I am out of breath walking from my parents house to my house I'm out of breath it's not even a, a super far walk and I am out of breath so um, yeah I experienced that very early on and a lot of people are like geez like if you can't even go up some stairs or if you can't even walk from here to there how are you going to manage later on um, and you're not even that far along. So, for example, I was going upstairs to get a new sh some new sheets for my bed. And my mom was like, what's wrong with you? And I was just like, I'm just tired. And she's like, so what's going to happen when you're, you know, further along? I'm like, I have no idea. But yeah, I get super out of breath. Just going up some a few stairs, you know, six stairs. And I'm just like... 
So D always laughs at me when I'm out of breath. Like I'll be vlogging and I'll be like, oh my god, I'm so out of breath. And I would have to cut that whole scene out. In the beginning when I was vlogging, nobody knew I was pregnant. So I'd have to do a lot of cutting um, for my videos because I was out of breath after a few words. So um, now that it's out, I don't have to cut all of that out. Hopefully it doesn't annoy people that I'm out of breath all the time. But I mean, this is part of life part of pregnancy, you're gonna be out of breath. That is that, those are my updates. So let me get up and show you guys this bump. Some days I look huge, some days I look, no, I never look small, but some days I look a little bit smaller. When I eat, I look very big. I will insert a photo of that, I looked huge. I was 12 weeks and my cousins were like, you're not 12 weeks. And if you are, you're carrying twins. So when I eat, I get really, really big, so. So from the front, I mean, you can probably kind of tell, maybe not, but from the side, you can definitely see it's down here. So that's what it looks like from the side. Probably not the best shirt. I'll definitely wear a different one next time. But if you look at it, that's what it looks like. If I were to try and suck in, it can't really go in like before. Um, I never really had like a super flat stomach. Um, I always had like a little bit of a pudge on the, you know, on the lower belly, but it was not like this. So there's definitely a little baby in there. The baby is actually on this side. So below my belly button, so right here. The baby is right here. And currently, um, I'm 13 weeks, but I think the last update, the baby was the size of a plum and it was measuring um, two inches, 2.1 inches. So it's like the size of my hand right here. So just a small little baby right here. Pretty crazy. So right here, it was below my belly button. So like that, just a little baby right here. Really, really crazy. I can't wait for it to get a lot bigger and I can actually feel the kicks. That's what I'm waiting for. And of course the gender so I can start buying some cute boy stuff or some cute girl stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this update and you can definitely expect to see them hopefully every single week. So that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it and we will see you on the vlog channel and here sometime soon. Bye.